In order to be able to create Apple Watch apps, we need to download a software that's going to allow us to create them. Okay, that software, it's called Xcode. I repeat, Xcode, X-C-O-D-E. So we need to download it. It's uh, actually free to use. Um, the only time you actually need to pay is whenever you want to publish into the Apple App Store. Okay, so as long as you want to create apps, it's totally free to use. You only pay whenever you want to publish them and monetize them, make money out of them. So I want you to go to your web browser and just type developer.apple.com slash Xcode slash download. Okay. Press enter. And right here, you're going to arrive to the download center for the Xcode tool. Now, make sure that the version you download is at least Xcode 6.2 or more. Okay. Right now, this is brand new. It just came out today. So it's Xcode 6.2 beta. That's the one you need to download. So how do you do that? It's very simple. Just click on the download link here. All right. So once you do that, that's going to take a while because it's a, it's a pretty big file. Um, but I already downloaded it. It's right here. Just click here, show in Finder. Once you find it, you're going to double click on the file. What's going to happen? It's going to basically um, put it right here. And what you're going to do is just drag and drop that into the application folder. All righty. Okay, now I'm not going to do it because I already installed it, but just know that you need to drag and drop it in the application and then wait a little bit. It's going to basically install it in your um, operating system. All right, that's pretty much it for um, installing Xcode in your computer. See you guys in the next lecture.